I'm out here in one of my fields again, my favorite spots to fly, with one of my other toys that I previously crashed and got, didn't get working right. Uh, but now, she's working pretty good. Uh, did some mods to it, replaced the, the antenna and the transmitter. I replaced the camera. That boy choice, I flew in the rain. Don't do that. That was why I was so excited. I just got my goggles and it was raining out a little bit. It wasn't raining, the ground was wet. Long story short, too long, didn't read, don't do it. Anyways, got her up and running. I got new parts in for these. I wanted to show really quick though, I've crashed this bad boy a lot. But you can make do with some zip ties and you can make it work. Uh, parts came in today, but I didn't feel like replacing it because I wanted to fly more. Probably because I would crash it more. Um, but yeah, let's get it go up and get it up in the air. Uh, the stock, the props are stock, so there will be some jello, but I don't care. This thing rips and it's fun, so let's have some fun. Power coupling is going pretty bad. What the hell? Come on, man. Why can't I ever? Oh, my God. 
I guess I gotta uh, modify the battery alert system because that gave me like no one. Really? I wasn't going after you guys. Hey, be nice to me. I'm your friend. We fly in the sky together. We conquer what man cannot. Well, I mean, until today. Those birds are attacking us. Anyways, um, yeah, I crashed there because one, I'm a shitty pilot. Um, two, is I set the battery voltage alarm. I thought I had it in the right sweet spot. And this quadcopter, if you don't set the alarm and you don't pay attention to it, it will just cut out the feed. And I couldn't see and I, I didn't react fast enough. So, lesson learned, fix that. Don't do that again. That was fun, man. That was a good successful flight, I'd say. Need some tuning. Um, oh, geez, I really messed up the antenna. You can't see it, but it's cracked. Oh, well, those are diamond downs that are replaced. Let's see. You can see it's cracked a little bit. But it looks pretty good. Otherwise, this thing hauled ass, as you saw. So, I'm going to put another battery on it and modify the alarm. And that should be better. Redcom Phoenix uh, 210. Pain in the ass to get set up. But there's a lot of support for it now, so it's easier. Other than that, um, great, co great quad. If you, I know, like, building your quad and uh, from scratch is easy to do. Uh, I'm sorry. It's not easy to do. I apologize. It's hard to do. So you think that an almost ready fly kit is uh, is easy to do because it's all assembled? Uh, no, I found that actually, and I'm a developer. Programming and setting this whole thing up was a lot harder than being hands on and putting this frame together. That would have been easier for me because I've taken this whole thing apart honestly a few times. I had to. So. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this flight.